that we keep for Fubara. Anybody who wants to take over Fubara's mandate, we go down. As Sari Dokubo sent another serious warning. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Despite his disagreement with the River State Governor and the People's Democratic Party PDP in the general elections of 2023, the John Nationalists declared that he would not back the art of Yeson Wiki, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, against the Governor of River State. According to Asari Dokubo, a former commander of the Niger Delta Militant, the leader of River State, will not permit anyone to assume the mandate that Governor Fubara has been given. This was said by Dokubo in a recent Facebook Live. The 59-year-old father claimed that Fubara and Wiki plotted to murder him in the midst of the election. I was not a supporter of Fubara. He declared uh, Fubara was even against me. He and Wiki plotted to have me killed. I am still alive and kicking. However, I was honest with my friend, President Bola Metinubo. I said, you want to turn Ijaz against Wiki? Okay, my hand is not there. My name is Ijoman. My jaw ancestral. And my Islam are the two things that I will never give up on this planet. I know my Ijo people. So anyone who wants to remove that mandate from Fubora will be destroyed. You are aware, aware of my capabilities. It's, it, is, it has no mouth. Okay. Meanwhile, the Okbobo other states men has rejected the eight point peace deal booked by President Bola Tunubu in the River State crisis. The others insisted that the agreement lacks legal grounding, hence, was not legitimate. Rising from an emergency meeting in Port Aikot, the Kingsmen to Governor Fubora voiced several reasons for their outright rejection of the agreement. The group in a communique by the chairman, Bo, of the group, Alaba Ruben, please pardon me, Alabo Ruben, Saturday, Jaja, and the chairman, Alabo, uh, Crocky Brown, as well as members of the executive council insisted that Tinubu lacked the legal authority to middle in the inter middle in the internal affairs of his state. The others emphasized that President Tinubu's rule primarily in involves overseeing federal appointment appointees and does not extend to dictating terms to a governor. The others argue that Tinubu's agreement could not supersede court rulings, particularly those relating to legal proceedings, such as impeachment or legislative matters. They, will cha they challenge the directive to withdraw court cases, highlighting the constitutional provision that mandates vacant seats for legislators who decamp without hearing to parties' division or major protocols. The statement subsequently vowed to the statement, please pardon me, subsequently vowed to fervently challenge any attempt to implement the agreement, noting that their stance underscores a firm commitment to upholding constitutional provisions and safeguarding the autonomy of state governance against external interference. We call on Mr. President to retreat the, this purported agreement as it is execution risk. 
plunging the state into a constitutional crisis. Should this request go unheeded, we are prepared to contest its constitutionality in a court of law as a necessary measure, the head has declared. Okay. Uh, going back to what Asari Dokubo have said, he said he is ready to keep for anybody that want to stand, you know, on the way of the river state governor. But I know say the crisis in that state hey, is still very, very, in a very high level. Now the river state governor is now in the middle of Red Sea. He doesn't know you know, where to turn to. He's trapped. If he go against his elders by implementing the peace deal with President Bola Metnubo, the people will go against him. That one is one. If he go against President Bola Metnubo, who is a Nigerian president, you know, deal, the government will go against him. I think this man is in a very big trouble right now. He's in a serious trouble. That is the truth. At this time, this issue here needs wisdom. Yes, Fubora needs wisdom as it is right now because he's in a big mess. Which way now to go? That is the question. As Nigerians who have reacted that, the best way to go about this, you stand for the constitution, stand for the right thing. Whether you feel that you are going to offend people, last, last. But when you are standing on the right path, you can never be harmed. Oh, well, Nigerians, I beg, what's your take home? Make we hear from you.